Paul McCartney on WACI. There is an emergency casting call for the lead role of Hamlet in the Desmian Classic production of Hamlet, directed by WACI's very own Marion Park. Auditions for the role are being held by a friend. Call Marion Park at 555 or email her at artgoddess21 at... Hi, Robert Green here to read for him. Hi, Robert, I'm Marion. Oh, that's a nice picture. You're wearing the same jacket. Yeah. Delightful, that's 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 wonderful. I'll remember who you are. I did bring my camera in case I wanted to get some shots, you know, of us, maybe together. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Robert Green. So this is a great picture. Do you have makeup on in this picture? Uh, uh, may, probably. You should really do something about your eyebrows. They're kind of bushy. I've never had you any. ever had them waxed? Oh, no, no, they don't do that. You should consider that. You have a very nice, delicate, you know, with this makeup on, you very pretty. And flexible on the hair? Uh, sure. We could bleach it out, shave it. I'm kind of thinking bald. Uh, okay. Bald. And you've got nice ears. Goes with our theme, so accentuate the ears if we shave your head. I think that'll work out really well. Tell me a little bit about some of these things you've done here. Um, I'm, I'm not familiar with uh, the Diviners. The Diviners is about uh, it's kind of like. Uh, okay, and what about Iris? Uh, Iris, uh, a gentleman wrote that, and uh, it's a crazy. What kind of character did you? Play? Uh, a, a homosexual. Oh, that's good because I'm kind of thinking that for Hamlet. But Hamlet that's real good. Um, what? No, you were in Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Uh, Romeo, so you're familiar with Shakespeare. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, kind of. You've read other Shakespeare plays? No. Have you read Hamlet? Uh, no. Have you seen the Mel Gibson movie? Oh, no. Oh. Kenneth Branagh? Parts. Yeah, he's, he's very attractive. We might watch that. Would you be interested in coming over and watching that sometime? Uh, maybe? Great. Jeffrey Dunderbread, um, that, that sounds like um, another homosexual name is... No, he... No? Uh, because I'm really thinking of Hamlet as a homosexual. A bald, yeah, I don't, homosexual. I've never read it, but I don't know if that... Would... Well, I think it's going to work out really well for us. A few good men, oh, you can't handle the truth. That, that, yeah? Yeah, that wasn't me. Uh -oh. Who did you play? Uh, Noah Wiley, that role. Oh. Really? Not, no, it's not, not a very, Jack Nicholson. not a very big role. <sighs> okay, well, let's let's get started here. Um, okay. I've got a side here. If you wouldn't mind coming up here and taking a look at this. This is the soliloquy. It's kind of famous. If um. Oh, well, I know the first two lines. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would hope so. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to get up, and I want you to sing the soliloquy as if you were a blind mute. So you can't hear anything, you can't see. You're in love with your mother and you hate women. And it's gonna be very dark. And occasionally, I'm gonna do this. Because ghosts are a big thing, okay? And when I do that, that's the only thing you can hear, okay? Are you ready? Uh. No questions, come on, up on your feet. Up on your feet, come on. I'm going to be following along and watching and listening. I'm a mute? And you're blind. But you can hear the ghost. And that's when I go, Ooh. Okay? That's the only thing you can hear. Okay. You hate women, possibly a homosexual. Okay. Ready? And go. You're singing it. Remember singing it. Louder. You hate women. I don't see the hatred. Even bigger. 
Even bigger still. You're frightened. Down to the ground. Back up. You're like a gerbil in a ball. A gerbil in a ball. You can't get anywhere. The ball keeps turning and turning, but you can't get anywhere. Sing it louder. Louder. Hate the women. And you're in love with your mother. You see her in front of you. Okay, let's move on. Um, let's do the death scene. I don't think I need to see that again. That was really good. Can you bring me that? Uh, okay. okay. I, I might need to reuse this. You did kind of crumple it. Um, read over this real quick. I'm gonna take a minute to look at your resume again. Do you have any questions for me, Robert? Uh. So, let's see here. Very athletic. Um, do you play sports, Robert? Uh, I did. I could still, yes. What, what kind? Like, uh, foosball? Uh, 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 volleyball. You know, the... Isn't that what girls play? Don't girls play volleyball? Uh, not so much nowadays, you know. Uh, men can do things, too. Uh, you play softball, too? Sure. Uh, you know, basketball, football. I like it, so. Hmm. Own your own house? Yeah. Really? Are you seeing anybody? I just need to know her conflicts. The rehearsal schedule. Not seriously, I guess you would say. Hmm. It says here you do impersonations. Mm -hmm. Can you do something for me? Uh, Kermit the Frog? Uh, Hi, Mo, Kermit the Frog here, reporting live from the Swamps of Sesame Street. That's really good. Thank you. That's good. Can you do Boris Karloff? I don't, I don't know so much. Can you do Al Gore? Uh, who, who do you do? Who do you do besides come with the crop? You should probably list them if you Sean can't Connery, just do. Sean Connery, maybe. Okay, I want to hear Sean Connery. Bond, James. Okay, can you do a conversation between Sean Connery and Kermit the Frog? Let's see. Uh, <coughs> Talk about how pretty I am. <coughs> if you just. Hey, Hulk Kermit the Frog here reporting live from the Swans of Sesame Street. We're here with Sean Connery. Yes, Kermit. Uh, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine, uh, Sean Connery. Uh, what do you think about this lady here running the audition? Yes, well, she is very attractive. Go on. Uh, uh, she has lovely eyes and blonde hair. Yes, I was noticing that as well. Uh, 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 so, um, what are you doing now, Mr. Sean Connery? Well, yes, I am shedding here with this lady. Okay, now it's just kind of meshing yes. together. Yeah, it, was, it was really good there for a minute. Can you do a Denmarkian dialect? I don't have to hear it. I it's, don't know what it sounds like. I was yeah, kind of hoping either, you could so bring that the to problem, the table. Uh, that really okay, just give me a shot of what you think it would sound like. What country is Denmark? It's Denmark. Well, where is that? It at? is Denmark. In Europe, though. It's in Europe. Yeah, I, but like. In Denmark. Is it like close to like. It's England between like or Turkey or France? and France. Turkey and France. It's Denmarkian. I gotta think about a French person sounds. I don't think it sounds anything like French. Yeah, but to get the two. Uh, it's like a mix between French and Turkey. Or Pakistanian. With a little bit of like. I don't know, some British RP thrown in there. Maybe. Okay, let me think. I don't have all day, by the way, Robert. It's a mix between French, Pakistanian, with some RP thrown in. Go. <coughs> oh, I know, I know, you know. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Pretend you're on top of a burning building, okay? The love of your life is already jumped off the building onto the trampoline thing and is in the arms of a really good-looking fireman. Um, 
Have you ever had a sexual dream about your mother? My mother don't want to know on that. Well, it's it's uh, apparently pretty normal. I mean, Freud would say it's pretty normal. I want you to be thinking about your mom in her underwear, having milk and cookies at the table. Ready? And this is the last vision you see is your mother sitting at the kitchen table in her underwear eating milk and cookies and you're yeah, in love with her. I kind of want to make me die anyway. Do you not love your mother? Yeah, but I don't she want not to, a good you person? Know, milk and cookies and underwear at the table. Robert, weird. it's very sexual. It's very sensual. Yeah, She's that's... dipping the cookies in the milk. But is she even there when I die in the play? It doesn't matter, Robert. This is the vision that you're having, okay? Just do it straight forward and then die. Go. Uh. Oh, I die, Horatio. I don't see your mother. Paint me a picture of your mother in her underwear. Yeah, I really don't know how to Chips do that. Chips Ahoy's. Chips Ahoy's. I really don't know how to do that. They're really good with milk. Definitely weird. It's not weird at all. It's very normal. Uh. Maybe this is why you're single. Uh, you don't. Yeah, I just. It's, it's I'm, I'm giving not very simple making... direction. And this is not hard. Is this, uh... this is the scene where he dies. Is this how rehearsal goes? I'm, I'm you not real sure yet because mm -hmm. you're very difficult to direct. But what was the issue the, uh, the previous scene? Well, right? that's not the issue right now. The issue right now is that I need you but to do this. But is this the type of. You know, uh. Just one yeah, more time. I'm, I'm, Go back to the seat and I'm get up really, and do it one it's, more time. Uh, you know, Robert, I, I, I don't I have an appointment. Well, I don't have time for this. If you'll just do it correctly to start. Okay. Uh, okay. Come on, sissy boy. Uh, the potent poison quite orf crowns my spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from England. She dunks it. But I do prosper, lady, and I shall Oh, that turns you on. The fun bias. He hath me dying voice. So tell him that the occurrence more and less she eats the cookies. which I have solicited. The rest is silence. That wasn't bad. I mean, it could be better. But I think we could work on that, Robert. Why don't we do it one more time, and this time, I think you should think about your mother naked, yeah, eating um, a pastrami okay. sandwich. Pastrami. You got my information. No, it's great. It's not it's thank you very much. I can totally understand why the other him would quit.